शुक है Hey guys, sorry it's really dark. It's seven something. The light is starting to come out. Um, yeah, I've been sitting here for like ten minutes already. I start work at seven thirty, and I leave early today. So, yeah, sorry my vlogs are gonna be kind of boring. Nothing really goes on. Not even during the weekend, but I'm sure I'll have something to do because I get paid on Friday, and I'll take you along with me if I remember to vlog. I just don't have the guts to like vlog in public public when people are around and I've been doing this forever yet I'm still kind of like uh but um yeah uh what do I want to talk about y yeah that uh Vegas thing what in the world it's like every month something goes on shootings bombs shootings bombs people are crazy mental illness is a big issue you just don't know you just don't know i'm not sure what that guy's motive is his family clearly had no idea he had this other side of him i don't think any of us really know any side of anybody because anybody can just click and change to a different person become a maniac become a serial killer someone used to tell me and i think it's true anyone is capable of killing i'm probably capable of killing but i don't my brain's not there i would never hurt anybody but then if someone triggers or something triggers you enough it's gonna happen so everybody can kill but it's like Oh, 50 plus people killed, young and old. And, oh. Yeah, and then I was watching um The Real. Because he posts little clips here and there on YouTube. I followed him. And, um, Jeannie Mai, the Asian chick, um, obviously everyone there is devastated, um, like what is what is this world coming to she was saying not exact words but um do we need metal detectors everywhere we go in hotel rooms in the entrance at grocery stores because that's how it is in other countries um, I can speak for Cambodia um, and then Lonnie said Africa too which I had no idea um, yeah, in Asia, definitely. In my country, definitely. Because even in early 2000, when I went for the first time, 2001, you have soldiers standing in front of a grocery store. You have soldiers standing in front of McDonald's in Cambodia. Because it's not safe. You don't know. You don't know what that person um, that walks in got or is capable of. And... Is that what uh, America needs? I, I don't I don't see that a problem because the way things are, we need stuff like that. And then it's like, after it happens, it's always like, we need to do this better. We need to do that better. Why don't you think of something to do to prevent it from happening over and over again? It was kind of like the 9-11 thing and everything else they were talking about. They mentioned you don't realize or think about anything until it happens it's the same scenario if it comes to that point and people are angry about it later on well guess what we're in America land of the bombs and shootings it makes me angry talking about that but so sad yes that's my two cents. I'm just going to chill and uh, hopefully today will go by fast. I have one of my easy docs today, so it won't be too stressful. But I do have a lot of stuff to upload. I'm trying to decide how early should I start going in because I am leaving early. Ava's getting her flu shot. Um, this year, she only need one dose. Last year, she needed two doses. So, uh, uh, uh. see you guys.
Hey, again in the car. It's nice and breezy right now. I have an early lunch because I have a big gap. I only have two patients this morning. Start at 10 o'clock. Kelly Clarkson. Loud. Um, yeah, so I have two patients this morning. Patients at 12.30. So I need to go put air in my tires. And I'll probably get something close by there. I thought about White Castle. So let's go, shall we? Hope you guys are doing okay. This is day three of uh, <laughs> I want to see vlog vlogmas. It's day three of vlogtober. I get excited making videos now for this whole month. Nice and sunny. It is 67 degrees. Don't you guys hate it when you live in the colder climates? Um, your tire pressure changes, and especially when you don't know much about cars. <laughs> it freaks you out especially being a woman who's so used to like having your dad do it for you or having your husband do it for you yeah me sometimes well at this moment I don't have a choice so I had to learn and it took me forever like I just recently learned how to put air in my tires and this one just made it so much easier because there's an automatic one I don't have that thing to measure your tire pressure to see if I have enough air or too much. But this one's just automatic. It just automatically stops for you when it's like full. So if you guys have that in your area, it is like a miracle for me. And I was like super excited when that happened. Right? I'm not crazy for feeling that way. But yeah. So now I can go do it without feeling paranoid, especially if I'm always by myself. I'm like, shit, if something were to happen to my car, it's so hard for me to just reach out to somebody and help me. And I'll be stranded. Yeah. All right. So I'll check you guys in a bit. It is 67 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> guys I just faced my fears although it was very annoying and nerve-wracking so the one that's automatic it's free gas but um, I realized the reason why it wasn't working because the last time it happened I was like oh I thought maybe it was down or something so I went to go ask the lady at the gas station and she came up and whew, checked it out with me and she said that because so many people use it so much it kind of like runs out of air so it needs time to like um, reset and like get some more air again even though there's already air in that machine wherever it is um, but yeah so I ended up going to White Castle and got food and came back to the same place and still wasn't working because the lady was like it takes about like five minutes I'm like okay so when I went back to the work I'm like shoot so I was like I'm not gonna risk because Ava has a doctor's appointment well flu shot later today and I'm like I'm not gonna have a child in my car and my car's gonna get like messed up with like flat tires or something that's risky so I was like uh, let's go try and use the one by the gas station where you have to put coins in and I was always afraid of that one for some reason because I'm special like that but you know it's so easy I had no idea that it beeps once it realizes that it, there's enough air too much air and it, it beeps for you so you can pull it out and go to the next tire so it worked but freaking a dollar and fifty cents like are you kidding me that's ridiculous so but okay I faced my fears now I don't know if all the other um, gas um, air places like that like it beeps when it's like done does it let you know or is it different so if anyone out there knows well, someone knows, please let me know if you try the one where you have to do it yourself. Um, but it sucks though. Air should be free. 
Someone told me it's illegal. You just tell, you're supposed to tell the gas, the guy at the gas station to like turn it on for you because that's some shitty stuff. But I'm so glad that I did it. And I'm trying to turn in so I can eat. But yeah, I got freaking tire marks on me. The tire lights is off, so I'm so happy and I can like not freak out when I pick up Ava to go to her doctor. <gasps> That's like freaking waste of my 35 minutes. And I gotta run back. Hopefully my patient didn't show up yet because um, they're supposed to be here at 12.30. So mad. But I feel so much better now. But $1.50 for five minutes? What in the world? What if someone got no money and they're stranded and they need to put air in their tires and you can't? That's like not cool. Alright. Look at this. Yes. And I'm hungry. I'm gonna go in and eat and work. Hey guys! I'm about to turn to my house and picking up Ava and on her way to her doctor's in Hilliard. It's like another city away, probably like 15 to 20 minutes away, depending on traffic. Just called my mom and I think Ava is ready. Gonna meet me outside the house so I won't have to go in. But I'm kinda thirsty so I might grab a water bottle with me so I don't choke. For some reason, sometimes when I walk into certain offices, it's like they got dust or something and it makes me sick. <laughs> and I start choking. Or it gets too hot and stuffy and then I'm like choking and then the doctor thinks I'm sick and I'm not. It's damn allergies. Okay, trying to get in here. Someone like park in the middle of the road. So I gotta squeeze in. What the hell? Turning in a little Ava. She has my little babushka. She probably think I'm taking a drink of cheese. Ava, where are we going? She's so excited. She's so cute today. I'll show you when we get there. But on our way to the doctor's office now. Get your little flu shot. Say hi. Okay, never mind. Just got here. Ready, Ava? Where are you? You ready? You know where we are? I think she's starting to like figure out where we're at. There she goes. Got grandma's backpack, okay? You ready, King King? You ready? You mad me? Okay. You know where you're going? Okay, let's go over here. Go straight. Come on. We're going. Over there. Let's go. Ooh, pretty. King King, you okay? Is he fishy? That was quick. Ava's already freaking out. Emmy called us like right away. King King, it'll be quick, okay, honey? I'm sorry. Mom, get you something yummy after this, okay? Oh, she's so scared. She's so nervous, like she knows already. Once the Emmy calls us in, it's like she recognizes people in scrubs besides me. It's okay. Ooh, it'll be quick. My heart's pounding. I don't like her in pain. No mom does, right? I love you. It's okay. It's okay. You can look at this one day and be like, what the heck, mama? Oh, okay. She's got her flu shot. At least she got only one this year. You okay, baby? Ready, go? Come on, go out to your car. Come on. Ava loves fries. You happy now? You home now? Don't play with your food. Ding, ding. Oh my god. 